Hey guys and girls, welcome back to Utawareru Mono, Mask of the Deception, Deception? Mask of Deception. Um, where we left off, we had a celebration type of party, basically, to bring us back, uh, to kind of welcome us, and, um, for a job well done, basically. Uh, we met Ukan's sister, and, um, we learned that the twins are apparently working for some sort of evil person i'm gonna assume it, it's a sinister king of some kind uh and we've seen a blonde haired woman i don't know who sh her part plays in this but i guess we'll find out let's continue from where we start where we left off at so this is back in my time i assume Stupid. I'd like to know that myself. Who are these people that we left behind? I left my world and the others still out cold in the banquet hall and came to the bathhouse. It feels like whatever alcohol is left in my body is just washing away. I guess I understand now why Kuan is so particular about her baths. I recall Kuan becoming completely ecstatic and rollicking around the bluffs. Then I shudder as I remember what transpired after that. I reply to Kuan as I eat my mouth half full of hot food. I wanted to sleep a little more, but I try to stifle my yawn. The 
Yeah, the Ottaway Kulan and Nekone are adjusting each other's startles me. The two pause and look at me as though noticing my reaction. <laughs> no, you're getting a little off here, a little Haku. <laughs> Kulan pulls Nekonet dramatically into her arms. Wow. Nekonet blushes slightly as Kulan rubs her cheek against it. As Kulan chuckles, shifting back from Nekonet, she starts explaining. <laughs> oh, I wanted the two A's antics. They may not be related by blood. I watched the two antics. But their friendship is strong. Fr I have a feeling he's thinking of something we'll reprehend. No! How dare she impugn in my clear conscience. <laughs> Kuan and Rolutier follow behind Nekone as she strides out the front entrance. I stumble backwards like I got myself caught on something. As I look for the cause, I notice Kuan has grabbed me by the back of my neck. Oh no. I'm the bad guy. I know it. Lutier's face falls.
Nikodin nods at what I said, her face looking somewhat exasperated. I glance through Lutia, but even she's looking at me in confusion as if to ask the same question. I whisper to Kuan. Glance over at Rulutia. Rulutia nods reverently. It seems the stories are true. Is he inside a magical lamp as well? <laughs> I'm sorry. It just sounds weird. As I tune out the legends of the capital and the Mikado, we reach a river that spans across the city. Boats of all sizes load and unload cargo across it, and the chatter of sailors and laborers fill the air. I nod silently at Kuan's awestruck comment. Maybe he's just really ripped. Maybe. You could say that for God then as well though, I mean. Seven days to build a world is like, yeah.
or Lutia freezes suddenly. Well, Lutia's shaking hand points to the inner part of the gate. On both sides of the gate are giant monstrous statues standing there as though guarding it. Akuru Turuka. Rulatia then bows her head meekly toward the statues. Well, Lutia marvels at this mausoleum too vivid white to be metallic, but too reflective. Nekone looks at me questioningly and I open. 